there, it's Colleen Baxter with Vessel and Soul. And due to popular request, I'm going to give you a recipe for how to make a delicious and amazingly healthy uh, morning tonic. Um, it can be either a coffee-based version or a tea-based version. I'm going to be doing the tea-based version right now because that's what I'm in the mood for, but I'll also tell you um, what to do for the coffee version. So starting off, I like to use a French press for both, for either or. Um, this is right here, I have yerba mate and green tea in here, um, for, or you can use coffee. I, for coffee, when I do that one, I, I like to use the Bulletproof version. Uh, you can go to bulletproofexact.com, I believe, uh, to purchase that, or at Air One in LA. Um, they have a very low toxin uh, coffee, which is great because most other coffees out there um, create mold toxins, mycotoxins, that's linked to jitters, um, crash, um, low energy, that kind of thing afterwards. So I like the Bulletproof version. It doesn't have to be, but that's a good quality coffee. Um, so let's see, I add that in here. Then I like to add some collagen. Again, going along with the theme of the Bulletproof, I have a lot of their products because I really think they're great quality, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. Um, but for their collagen, uh, it's processed in a way that we can actually absorb and digest. Collagen is a great protein source. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a white powder. It's great for faster healing, um, good skin, uh, helps with aging, and just flexible joints and tendons and connective tissue. So we only get this really, if, I mean, if you eat um, organ meats and tendon and that kind of thing, most of us don't really. Um, so this is just a great supplement that we wouldn't really normally get in our diet. Um, then, so I add about a tablespoon of that. Then I love chocolate. I'm a lady and I love chocolate. So whether I'm doing the tea version or the coffee version, I typically make it chocolate flavored. Um, for the coffee version, I like to make it spicy generally, but you don't have to. Tea version is usually just, yeah, like a chocolatey green tea, yerba mate kind of fusion. So I like to add cacao powder, um, maybe about a tablespoon of cacao. Uh, cacao is great for just antioxidants and magnesium. Um, so it's a great source. Also, that's why it's great for women, especially with magnesium to help with muscle cramps. Um, going along with the, ca the cacao theme and the antioxidants, I like this blend uh, by Sun Potion called Anandamide. And um, I like it because it just makes it easy for me. Uh, it has a blend of herbs in here. Um, it also has cacao as probably the main base, uh, so it's kind of redundant, but there's cacao in here. Um, and it's just a, it's called anandamide because that's the name of um, a neurotransmitter in the brain that's linked to bl the bliss state. And so they kind of label it that way because uh, a lot of the herbs in here can increase that state, that mental state in the mind. Um, all these herbs are just immune balancing, digestive system um, boosting, helping, and uh, let's see, I, I'm trying to think of what else. The, in here, there's a blend of like toko, suma, maca, makuna, moringa, reishi, cardamom, ashwagandha, some other spices. It's a good blend. It makes it easy. Um, so it's great for that. I like to also add additional American ginseng that I get from just a little herbal shop. And American ginseng is, um, I add about maybe a half a teaspoon of this. Um, American ginseng is immune boosting blood sugar stabilizing, it inhibits cancer cell growth, uh, which of course we want, and neurological function helps with um, cognitive function as well. Uh, so I do maybe quarter, half, quarter to half teaspoon of that. Um, also seems to like just increase energy too for me. Um, the anandamide, I do about a tablespoon of this. I add... Oftentimes I add some vanilla bean, um, just for flavor, really. This is a great vanilla bean. Uh, so I add maybe a quarter teaspoon um, to a half teaspoon of vanilla, depending on what flavor I'm doing. Um, then, going along with the chocolate flavor, you don't have to, but you can add any sort of powdered greens, uh, organic powdered greens product. I really like this Numedica brand. Um, this one is chocolate flavored because I like chocolate, but they have like a, I think a berry flavored or just a plain. Um, so this is chocolate power greens and it's just a great blend of organic um, herbs and 
vegetables and also digestive enzymes um, and probiotics and yeah it's just a great easy and it has a great flavor so it just adds a really good rich chocolatey flavor um, so I add there's a scooper in here so I add a scoop of that if you're using another greens product um, add however much you want of that but maybe a tablespoon maybe a couple teaspoons you don't want to overpower uh, your other flavors here it depends but um I love adding greens so I'm getting all that nutrition in here as well getting some great greens I also like to add um, I like to add colostrum I love colostrum this is a great superfood um, colostrum is in the mother's first milk milking female uh, humans um, also cows this comes from grass-fed pasture happy cows um, it's low heat uh, processed and this is this product in particular this is Numedica brand as well um, which I supply but Numedica brand uh, is really high in the proline rich polypeptides the PRPs and those are what that's what's responsible for the immune modulating effect that um, the colostrum can have and that's a really great quality that colostrum has because there's a lot of things that can boost the immune system natural foods and things that can boost the immune system or suppress the immune system bad foods alcohol all that suppresses the immune system um, and so this actually finds where in your immune system you need it boosted and where you need it uh, suppressed a little bit because some people either if you get sick a lot and you stress a lot lack of sleep travel whatever and you need an immune immune boost um, also sometimes you can have an overactive immune system like if you have an autoimmune disease uh, autoimmune thyroid disease um, anything like that your immune system in that area needs to be uh, brought down a little bit so your body can stop destroying your own body um, so that's a great quality in colostrum it's also another protein source, protein and amino acid source, um, has growth factors in it, and it helps with just gut balance and gut healing. Anything that's good for the gut is good for the brain. So we always want that. It increases lean mu muscle mass. You can have some guns like these. <laughs> and uh, also great for just tissue healing and repair. Colostrum is great, great superfood, and um, it helped me actually get over a lot of um, gut, uh, let's see, food um, food related gut inflammation that I had uh, when I went off of gluten. I had an inflamed gut and I ended up developing a lot of food intolerances for a while and so I really needed to just calm down my immune system, soothe my gut, and colostrum was a big key for that, um, for where I'm at now where I, I can eat um, anything, any of my vegetables, any of my things that I love to eat. Um, so colostrum I love. Um, let's see, then now we get into the fats. <laughs> I'm a big proponent of healthy fats. Um, so I love this. Again, this is bulletproof. Uh, there's some other MCT oils out there. You can also add just straight coconut oil, but MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, that's what's found in coconut oil. And this bulletproof upgraded brain oil has 18 times the amount of MCTs in this. So it's just a concentrated like coconut oil. And this doesn't have the coconut flavor. Um, so it's processed in that way. But it's just super, um, just concentrated great brain food. It just fuels you right away. Uh, goes straight to the brain. Doesn't increase any sort of fat storage in the body. Actually increases your, um, boosts your metabolism. Um, aids in just mental focus and energy so it increases ketones in your body so that you're going to use that for fuel as opposed to using sugar, glucose, star, uh, starches, carbs um, for fuel instead your brain, you, your body can use fats for fuel and so that increases ketosis. I like to be in a fat, I like to be a fat burning machine basically not storing any fat but using fat for fuel, which is great for the brain. Our brain is mostly comprised of fat, so we want lots of healthy fats to build our brain, repair our brain, and fuel us throughout the day. So this is a great, um, it also is very satiating fats. So this um, helps to fill that. And also I add, uh, I think a roommate might be home, so might have an interruption. Um, then I add organic cultured pastured butter. This is from Pasture Raised Cows. Um, so they are happy and healthy and butter has many benefits. Uh, let's see, butter, if you, let's see, if you have a lactose intolerance, you want to use ghee that has the lactose removed. If you're using butter, which I love, um, it's a healthy fat. It's quick energy. It's not stored, again, as adipose tissue. 
It's a brain food, um, has arachidonic acid, which is great for the brain. It's rich in vitamin A, which is essential for thyroid and adrenal health. It has lauric acid in it, which fights fungi and candida. Um, it has CLA, which is conjugated linoleic acid, and that's great for immune system and muscle um, building. It also um, has anti-tumor and cancer properties. <laughs> And my roommate's home, so he gets to listen to my lecture. Um, it also has vitamin D, which is a, a super hormone. And vitamin D is amazing for so many things. We get that, um, our body converts that and um, uses it for, uh, gets it from the sun, basically. But vitamin D is also found in butter. And it that has anti-cancer properties. Um, it's also immune boosting. It's gut healing. And vitamin D is just really great. It also has, butter has vitamins E and K, uh, good cholesterol, which is essential for sex hormone production and reduced inflammation in the body, and also has butyrate for gut health. So butter is always better. Never use margarine. Um, again, you want uh, not the commercially raised, commercially processed um, butter. You want to get organic, pasture-raised, grass-fed butter, and you can get it raw. Um, as well, which is great. It has even more prop great properties in it, um, but that's not necessarily essential, especially if you're putting in a hot liquid. You don't want to waste the money on a raw product. Um, so butter and so I add about a tablespoon, which is a good good sized chunk of butter. Also adds that richness, that creaminess. It just makes it delicious. So it kind of seems like you're adding cream, cream or um, creamer or all that other stuff, but you're adding just good quality fats to give that like richness and it's all good for the brain and the gut. Can't go wrong there. Um, then I like to add a little bit of stevia. Stevia is um, a natural sweetener. I don't like to add too much because I don't want to increase any sort of sweetness that's going to increase your craving for sweets um, and starches and, and such. So I just add like a few drops of this just to bring out, especially if I'm doing the coffee version where I have like coffee and uh, cacao and more bitter type um, things in there, then I, I need to kind of balance that out a little bit. So uh, just a few drops of stevia. You might need a little bit more if you like sweet. You can also add xylitol, which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like sugar. That's a sugar alcohol, and xylitol is, uh, it doesn't affect you, it doesn't affect your blood sugar. And it's also, um, if it's from birchwood uh, xylitol, that helps to balance any gut flora balance your gut flora, which is great, killing candida, and like I said, it doesn't uh, disrupt your blood sugar, it's just a good quality um, sweetener, so you can use that as well. If you're doing the coffee version, um, like I said, I like, to, I like to add pink salt or real salt, which has all the essential minerals that we need, very important, don't use the typical table salt, but um, salt is great for adrenal function and just many processes in the body. So we want to add just, a, I add like a sprinkling of pink salt for minerals. I also add that to my water. Pink salt's great. Um, again, like I said earlier, I love spicy. So for the coffee version, I add ginger, cold pressed organic ginger juice. I don't juice it myself. I buy it from the ginger people. They have this great bottle from Whole Foods um, that I typically get. Ginger people, cold pressed organic ginger juice. I add like maybe half teaspoon of it, something like that. Um, then again, I add a dash of cayenne for a little kick in my coffee. So I like to make like a Mexican hot chocolate version of coffee, latte version. And then I go heavy on cinnamon because cinnamon is anti-inflammatory, just like the cayenne, which is also uh, great for the metabolism as well. But cinnamon also adds that sweetness without adding in any sort of sugar or sweetener. It just makes gives you the, the feeling of, of sweetness. It's anti-inflammatory. So that's a great herb as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Those are the ones that I add more so for the coffee. I don't really add them in my tea version. Um, you can also add cacao butter, which is going to add that. It's a good healthy fat as well. And that's going to add to that chocolatey richness. And I think that's all the... Things. You can also, for the coffee version, you don't have to add all the spices in it. Um, you don't have to add all the herbs, but I like having, I make it a superfood, so it's not just a coffee or a tea. Um, I add lots of good quality fats, so that helps sustain me till early afternoon, and it fuels me right away in the morning. It fuels my brain, fuels my body, 
and also starts waking up the digestive system. I like to start off my day with more liquid and then turn into um, adding more solid foods. So it just gets me going in all the right ways um, with the good quality fats. It also has, I like my greens in there and the probiotics. Um, so I'm getting all those vitamins, minerals, um, nutrients, micronutrients, macronutrients in here, protein um, as well and antioxidants and all that stuff. So there's just lots of good stuff in here. So like I said, I start off the day with lots of water and then my uh, tonic, superfood tonic, and that fuels me till early afternoon till I'm ready to have my superfood salad or my whatever fish and vegetables and all that stuff, just my solid foods throughout the, the rest of the day. And so there we go, then we blend it. <laughs> Oh, and I should also say for the colostrum, this is a very sensitive, delicate product. You don't want to add it to hot liquid. Um, so I should have said that earlier. But um, so I actually wait for it to cool down a bit before I'll add the colostrum. So I might blend everything else up and then start drinking it. And then as it's cooling down a bit, I might add the colostrum into it. Or sometimes I'll do a, an iced version, like of the tea. Um, so I'll do all this with colder tea. And then I add the colostrum, no problem. Um, but you don't want to waste your money with this, buying the colostrum, then adding it to a hot liquid, and then you're kind of destroying the properties. Same with earlier with the butter, when I mentioned a raw butter, uh, can be kind of, you're ruining some of those qualities if you put it in a hot liquid. So just don't get raw butter or um, add it when it's cooler, cooled off. Um, so that's this lovely mixture. Add it. I love the Vitamix, it's just killer. I use it all the time for a million different things. I make superfood ice cream with it, protein shakes, tonics, all this good stuff. You won't be able to really see it, but it's a delicious, frothy coffee or tea tonic, and it's delicious. So good. So I hope that helps. It's Colleen Baxter with Vessel and Soul. If you would like more information on health consulting, on recipes, on grocery store tours, on workshops, any of that good stuff, um, go to VesselandSoul.com and contact me for further information and pricing for my consults. And I hope, um, you, I hope you find this very helpful and you can start experimenting and make your own superfood um, breakfast or afternoon tonics, whatever you want. And I love you all. Thank you.